I'm sorry, dude. Hello, everybody. So, it is now Monday, and I am... Oh, shit. I was trying to crack my back. I used my steering wheel. Oh, that was a mess. Anyways, so it's Monday. Saturday, we were moving cows, and I am like... I have allergies and I don't, I don't have really bad ones, but when they're bad, it sucks. And working or moving cows, man, did that really flare up my allergies. Like I think my nostrils were inflamed and swollen. Now I'm a little bit nervous that I'm actually getting sick. So I love that for me. I'm heading to work and I had someone ask me like what I do for work. And that's a valid question because I don't talk about it. Um, in the four minutes it takes me to get to work, I'm going to try to explain this to you so it kind of makes sense. So my best friend used to come to my mom's home daycare. She lives like four minutes up the highway from here. She used to. And her parents literally lived, or her, my best friend's grandparents lived like right next door to her. We all lived on the same stretch of highway for years and years and years and years. So we all got to know each other really well. Like I know her grandparents, they have a trucking company. And so yeah, just known them my entire life. So one day my, and the woman that I used to, uh, Oh my God, I don't know how to explain this without getting too specific. So my best friend's grandma, she had COPD, like really bad. And she has literally my entire life for about 20 years she did, 21, 22 years. And anyway, so one day my best friend, Katie was like, hey, so my sister, Alicia, she's going back to school and she had been spending the summer with her grandmother cause she really shouldn't be left alone for too long of time because of her health. So Katie said, would you want to work for my grandparents and go to my grandma's house and help her, like make sure she takes her meds, um, do things around the house, cook, clean, just, you know, stuff like that and just spend time with her, take her to appointments, that kind of stuff. So I did that for about a year. Well, a little over two months ago, she passed away and that, that really sucked because we got very close because we spent a lot of time together. After her funeral, they still wanted me to continue coming out to their house, but now it's only twice a week instead of like three times a week because uh, um, my friend's grandpa, Donnie, he works a lot and this man went from living with his mother to living with his wife. Like he has never in his life moved. The house he grew up in, well it actually burned down, but he is still living in the same exact yard that he grew up in. And for a while, his mom lived with him and his wife that I worked for. So he doesn't know how to cook, he doesn't know how to clean, he can't do laundry, like just house stuff, he doesn't know how to do. So they kept me on so that way I could do those kinds of things for him and just kind of try to, you know, keep up the house and whatnot and keep it clean and kind of look after him and make sure that he's okay. He still works um, trucking and stuff, so I just do stuff around the house, run errands for him. Like today, I think I gotta go to Walmart for him, so. Yeah, that's what I do. And they pay me really well. I love coming out here. And like, they treat me extremely well. Like the, the whole family could not be nicer to me. I've, like I said, I've known them all literally my whole entire life. So it's a pretty sweet gig. And then the other job that I do is I work at Pulse, which is like an electromagnetic um, therapy type place, which I can try to explain more when I go to work there in another video if you guys want. But I'm just pulling up to the house, so I have got to go. But I will check in with you guys either when I'm done or when I go to Walmart. Hi, so it's Tuesday and I worked really late last night, so I didn't, well not really late, but I worked until like 5.30. Um, but nothing else really happened, so I didn't record anything. But today we are moving cows, so I'm gonna take you through how I dress for that. Now granted, it snowed yesterday, just about an inch, so it's not like bad, but at my brother's house, it's always colder and windier. And here, thankfully, we don't have any wind where I live, but up at his house, there definitely is gonna be wind because he lives farther north than me. So here's what we have so far. I have these leggings that I got from TJ Maxx that I absolutely love. They have like a soft sort of fleece inside. My brother and sister-in-law always, or well mainly my sister-in-law, she wants to get like long johns, but I'm like long johns aren't very thick. Like you're better off wearing leggings than long johns. So I use leggings as long johns. Then I'm currently wearing one pair of socks and this long sleeve, but I'm gonna wear more socks because, I think I'm gonna wear these ones, because uh, a few winters ago, actually maybe only last winter, I can't 
can't remember. I got frostbite on my toes, like they were turning black. Um, not real bad, but just like a little bit. You could tell they were discolored. And I only realized it because at one point my dog stepped on my toes and I like yelped in pain. And my parents were like, yo, calm down. You just stepped on your toes. And I was like, no, that like super hurt. And they like took a look and sure enough, my toes were like, a, I'd say honestly, they weren't like black. It was more of like a light gray, but I was like, oh snap. But I have very little feeling in my toes. I can tell when they start to go numb because the sensation is so different. But until they get to that point, I really don't know what temperature they are. Like it's super hard for me to tell. So because of that, <laughs> I have to try to play it kind of careful, but like my fingers and my toes and my ears get super cold. And I think it's because I have really bad circulation. So a lot of times after I'm done outside, I'll hop in the shower and like the shower won't be super hot, but my toes will just sting and burn. It's because I got so cold, but I didn't realize it. So I'm just wearing two socks. So I guess the plan is for me to, oh, and then my Levi's that I've been wearing. So the plan today is for me to be my brother's pickup and lead the cows home. And I'm gonna have his two kids with me. So I really won't have to do a ton. So that's good. I don't really know like the path that we're taking home real well. And if I'm up front, that's gonna be a little tricky, but hopefully I'll figure it out. So anyways, <sighs> I'm very tired still. I don't know what my deal has been. I have not been like feeling well rested. Like I'm just constantly tired. And I think one of the problems is, is I've been having headaches super bad lately too. And that could be as a result of low sleep or it could just be my low sleep is because of my headaches. I don't really know. So I think I have to leave in about 45 minutes, which is no problem, but I am gonna play with the dogs before I go. So <laughs> my pants are finally fitting tighter now. Okay, so I'm gonna wear this. And then just my green champion hoodie that I like wearing. I got it from a thrift store, but it's quickly turning into one of my favorites. This, and then I'm gonna wear my gray Carhartt beanie. And I didn't shower last night because I knew we were gonna be working cows. So it was like, what point quite honestly? Then my Lulu scrunchie, and I think I'll just put my hair back. And that's pretty much what I'm gonna be wearing underneath. But then I am going to bring like my Carhartt coveralls and my Carhartt coat and mittens and just plain work gloves. So. I should be pretty toasty. Good morning. It is Wednesday and I didn't get to film anything with the cows because it was like a hectic day. But this morning I woke up and my new piercing that I got didn't have the earring in it. Like my helix that I got pierced, I don't know where the earring went. And like that was an expensive ass earring. It was over $200, but like my hole is still really fresh. So I have to put something in it. So I might have to just go and try to buy like a like the cheapest one that they have as a placeholder until I can actually find my earring because no way am I not gonna find this earring because one I love it and two it was crazy expensive so now I have to try to find that <sighs> okay I am running very very late for work today so today I am working at Pulse which <coughs> <sighs> Because we moved cows yesterday, I feel all gunky and just not good. Um, so Pulse is an electromagnetic form of therapy. And right now, when I work, it's just, I'm just only going to go in like when there's appointments. And today there's an appointment at 9. It's 8.46. Thankfully, it only takes me about 10 minutes to get there. But good enough. So <coughs> I'm not, <coughs> I'm not sick. It's just from yesterday. So anyways, there's an appointment at nine. It's 846. It only takes me about 10 minutes to get there, thankfully, but I have never once had a person, had a person get there on time. So there's an appointment at nine and 11. So I'm just going to stay there the whole time. And then maybe around noon, I'll go and get a protein shake. And then at one o'clock, there's some people that are setting up a new system there. So I'll go back and like try to learn how to do this system from the people setting it up. So I have that today and then I'm just gonna give you a rundown of things that are going on. <coughs> I got my true crime courier video up for today. I don't know if I'm gonna have time to do a squish video. So I had to make sure that I got some form of video up. So I have a video up and uh, then I have uh, some stuff to ship and then I need to drop some honey off for my cousin. <coughs> <coughs> 
and then at four i'm gonna be babysitting but i kind of feel like that's gonna fall through because we're supposed to get a snowstorm <laughs> so it's looking like we might get 12 inches um however where i live we are in the uh bigger area for more snowfall so <laughs> i've heard that we could get upwards of 18 inches so that's kind of a lot of snow. Thankfully though, I do have my snow tires on. I might run to Walmart. My sister-in-law last night did get me some milk, which was super cool of her to do, but I might just get some other stuff to make like just quickie meals. I forgot how much I love lean cuisines. However, they have a lot of dairy in them, so that's not so good. That, and then, oh, today also, I would like to go over and buy a new earring because sadly mine fell out and I can't find it. I might be spending $100 on a new earring, which sucks, but I do not want this hole to close up. So anyways, that is sort of my plan for today. I don't know what's actually gonna happen, but I'm gonna kind of keep you guys updated. Hello! So I am all done at Pulse for right now. I'm gonna go to Starbucks, I think, and grab a quick little lunch and then come back and do, there's something, I think they're gonna like set up a different appointment thing or I don't really know what's going on, but I'm gonna be here for it because it'll be easier to learn from the people that are setting up some new system for us. So let's go to Starbucks, I guess. Also, yeah, I forgot to tell you about that. So it started misting and right now my car is showing that it's 28 degrees. So if the temp starts to lower, it's gonna get pretty slick and that's gonna suck. Oh yeah, the mist is already freezing on my windshield. I gotta start heating it up. So that's fun, love that, boss babe. So yeah, the roads are gonna start getting really icy, which is fantastic, which I guess from like here to Fargo is like pure ice, I heard someone say, which Fargo always gets it worse than we do, so I'm not really surprised by that. But anyways, so the snow is supposed to start like this evening. So I think my camera cut out at some point, but I wasn't saying anything important. So I got my Starbucks, and the only thing is they were out of spinach, feta, and egg white wraps. So I am gonna just quickly run to McDonald's, I think, and get a fry. But good thing is, is I'm by the McDonald's that literally takes like two seconds to go through the drive-thru. So it's not like it's a huge detour for me. Plus, we're just getting a medium fry. It's like no biggie. So anyways. <laughs> Welcome to McDonald's. Nope, not today. Alright, how can I help you? Could I please just get a medium fry? Medium fry, that's all? Yep. Alright, first one up. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> Today's videos. Um, okay, so I just got done the post office, but I realized I did not have honey for my cousin, and I'm supposed to drop that off. So, ooh, but that means I have to run back home to get it. But the good thing is, is I only made it into Mandan, so like I don't have uh, much of a drive back home. So honestly, if I would have made it to Bismarck, I would have been kind of bummed, but I didn't. So we are, we are thriving out here today. Okay, well, they said that um, because it's been, you know, pretty close to maybe 24 hours since I have had an earring in, they thought that it was possibly gonna have closed up. So, I don't know if, oh, I think they're waiting for my spot, so. I think these people want my spot, so you know what? I'll check in with you. Just give me a minute. Anyways, super quick. Here is my new earring. It's really cute, and the back isn't as long as my other one had been, so I'm really hoping that that means it's going to heal quick. No problem. Um, also, the lady was like, sometimes you have to full-on re-pierce, and then she's like, sometimes like people will really surprise me, and it'll just slide right in. Thankfully, my earring just slid right in. So, <laughs> good for me. I got a $5 Target gift card, so that's kind of cool, kind of fun. Um, now I'm all stocked up so I can go home for literally, oh, literally like 10 minutes and then I have to go again. Ah. I don't know why I agreed to babysit tonight. Oh yeah, I know, cause I'm broke. I was literally home just long enough to take the groceries inside, let the Waiting dogs out, and now I'm leaving. 
in again and I'm gonna be late! I don't know, that just felt right. Anyways, <laughs> I pretty much had to ice skate my way down our driveway because she is getting slicker than shit out there. So, <laughs> I can't wait! God, I really wanted to stay home, but now I can't! Just kidding, making money is always nice. So, the only thing that sucks is I have to go to the way east side of Bismarck, like southeast. I live north. So anyways, that sucks, but you know, I had other stuff to do at home, but now I'll be doing this, which is it's fine. I shouldn't complain, so I'm making money and I just spent a lot of money. I mean, my earring alone was expensive, so. I gotta try and pull my, my sweatpants down a little bit so I cover my ankles more. So guess what? It's snowing and I think we've already gotten about a foot of snow and we were forecasted to get maybe like up to 18 inches that's definitely like on the high end and i don't think we'll get that but um my brother took home the big bobcat so and my big bobcat i mean the one that has like the full enclosed cab so i can't like i have a smaller bobcat but that one's a pain because it doesn't have a cab and the wind is nuts out there so i don't know what i'm really gonna do but i just kind of need to get out of the house a little bit so i'm gonna go and shovel some snow just to give myself kind of something to do plus I have to move some chairs that are outside from from um in front of the house So they don't get too covered in snow. I'll brush them off and whatnot, but yeah, it sucks out there It's like chilly and stuff too. I think oh something in this boot. There's a snake in my boot So I just finished up a true crime video and I need to edit it. It's still snowing outside and as of like an hour ago, we had nine and a half inches of snow. That's fun. And we're only about halfway through our little storm. We're supposed to get like another six to nine inches. So love that. Um, started using the chai tea burpees flavor and I really like it. I got the holiday pack. I'm really vibing with this one. I like this a lot actually. There was another holiday pack that I really wanted to try, but I just thought I'd get one pack because there's only one flavor in each pack that I really, really wanted to try. So I just went with the um, chai tea one. Once I'm done with this video, I'm actually gonna go outside and start doing some more snow shoveling. Just cause every now and then it's nice to get outside and like do some physical work, you know? I, I just, I feel better about myself. And there's some vehicles that I was supposed to move inside, but I just didn't do it because I don't know, I didn't have the energy to trudge through the snow. But I'm actually gonna go shovel the snow in front of the vehicles and then turn the, them on so that way they can run for a little bit and hopefully just warm up. And then if I can't get them inside, I might have to try again tomorrow. I'm really hoping tomorrow quits snowing so I can try to do some snow removal. It feels early for us to be getting snow, but it's so not. It's the beginning of November and like in past years, we've gotten snow in October. So this is not early, but it feels like it is. It's gonna be dark soon, so I gotta try to figure out what to do with these vehicles super quick. Like I said, I'm gonna start them, let them run for a while, and see if I can shovel them out enough that I can move them inside.
What, Snooks? <laughs> what, are you stuck? No, he's not. <laughs> I didn't get any video done because I was talking to my mommy. I don't know where the keys are, though. They're gonna be fine outside, though. Why did my music just stop? I'm gonna play with the dogs, though, before it gets too dark. All right, we gotta find a toy. Where's your toy? Come on, Snooky Ducky. Nice and close, closer. I know I like literally just ate some crepes, but I got nothing really else to do, so I'm just gonna eat again. It's Lean Cuisine's sweetest Swedish meatballs and it slaps. Good morning. I need to get dog food from this building. That one right there. I also have to move a little snow so I can get to work. And I'd like to P-L-A-Y with my dogs so that way they get tired and I can put them inside while I move snow because I don't like when they're out running around. It just makes me nervous. Jake's mad that I put him inside, but he was holding his paws up and kind of going like this. So I know he's cold, so he's gotta go inside. I'm not gonna damage his paws just cause he wants to stay outside and he doesn't know what's good for him. Okay, now I have to trek up to the shop. Ah! It's up to my knees, bro. So this is the back door, then if we come around, or sorry, that was the front door. So if we come around to the back door, definitely a little bit better. So I think to get to the bobcat bucket, I'm gonna have to go out this way. I can't get through. So I gotta go get a shovel and try to dig my way out to get to the bucket. Cause I, I don't wanna get the bobcat stuck cause I don't know how to get it out if that happens. I'll be back. This fucking sucks. Hello. So I just finished editing video behind me. Um, I 
did not film an outro, so here it is. I was not able to move all the snow by myself. My boss that I work for actually came in with his loader and dug me out, so that was amazing, because I have the little bobcat, not the big one. My brother took the big bobcat, so I can't do as much snow removal, so that sucks. But I am now dug out, so I can go to town if I want to. It's already, it's snowing again. It's not a heavy snow. I think it's just gonna be a fluffy, kind of dusting, but it snowed last night, and then I woke up, and it snowed again today, so that's great, but that's it for my video today, because it's Sunday, so I'm done vlogging for the week. I'm gonna start immediately after I'm done here, and vlog for next week, so yeah, um, but now from here on out it is officially winter here so that's great um i do excuse me have my snow tires on so it's like not that big of a deal but you are going to get be getting a lot of snow content coming up here so hope you're ready for that um uh, but thank you guys so much for hanging out with me i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please be sure to give it a thumbs up down below don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to if you don't that's totally fine i get it but thanks for hanging with me for those of you that are going to come back next weekend for my new weekly vlog i will see you guys then bye guys